Um, here we're looking at a um, HM TVS HD um, going through uh, and going into a multi view here. And uh, you see here I've got a, a camera here and a camera there. These are both Blackmagic uh, studio cameras. Uh, I'll show you them in a moment. They've both got Ongino lenses on them, uh, Ongino B4 lenses with a B4 adapter. And um, what I'm going to show you is um, I'm controlling the iris over here. Um, and um, as I uh, wind the iris down, you'll see the iris are going down. There's the iris going up and everywhere in between. Um, so it's all nice and sensitive. That's um, camera 5 on here. Let's go over to camera 6 over here, which is on the preview monitor. You see we're winding that down, winding that up. Uh, um, and we have all the other CCU, because these are Blackmagic cameras, we have all the other CCU controls here. Um, you can see switching the gain down. Um, if we're on 18 dB, we're a bit low light here at the moment. But we have um, we have all uh, color color controls of both cameras here. So all the all the data is, is going out uh, in the um, return video back to the cameras. Let me just go and reset all that now. Oop, wrong button. Just go back here and um, just going to reset everything. Reset all. And let's go to camera six and reach it all. So basically, um, with CCU control, with iris control, uh, we can get both cameras to uh, match our exposures. And um, now those cameras um, are over here, getting up. And these are connected via cable, not by fiber, just by simple cable, coax cable. There are the two um, Blackmagic cameras. And there are the two Fusion lenses. They're different types of lenses, but um, and um, they're just using the um, Torpin um, cable. This this uh, this is my prototype here, and um, and this here is uh, a second prototype, almost at the board level. And um, we're using the uh, Blackmagic Arduino shield and getting all the data out of there, and um, basically. That's it. I will be making these things to order very shortly. And um, as you can see, I'm trying them out on numerous types of Fujinon lenses. And I will then save enough money and maybe buy a Canon lens and then try the same interface on there. Just incidentally, I'm looking at, because these zoom, can, zoom command demands are hard to get nowadays, but I'm actually looking at using a LANK controller to... Um, to control these lenses um, and I'm also will be using a, an adapter to adapt the focus onto the focus of the lens using the um, special attachment that they have on these lenses for the focus which is over here there's a nice little screw there and um, there's a screw there and I'll make a make a, an adapter there so we can actually uh, do the focus and the zoom um, from the CCU position, but that's not in the initial version. So there you have it. It's a nice quick little video for you. If you want to buy some, um, um, on, uh, sort of on, you know, soon maybe on, you know, but uh, Fujinon lens uh, iris controllers to run off the CCU data coming back up the camera, uh, contact me. So just remember that these boxes sit at the camera end and um, so you don't have to run a separate cable network or anything they just come let's read the return video data to get their CCU information thank you and good night